Welcome. In this video, we are going to set up a small Python uh, project using Poetry, um, and then we're going to utilize Bodo3 to make some uh, AWS calls. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by opening the terminal and running Poetry init to uh, set up my PyProject.toml config. I'm just going to leave all defaults until I get down to the dependencies for now. Um, and I'm going to choose yes on that. And we're going to search for Bodo3. It's going to be option zero. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to leave the version. And then that's going to be the last one that I add for now. Uh, then we also have development dependencies. I'm going to add in Modo, um, which we'll cover later. But it's a library for mocking Bodo3 calls. So we don't have to actually call uh, test against production environment. Um, and then I'm also going to add black for code formatting. Type. And then I will add in uh, PyTest as well. And that will be our testing library. And this is the output that we're going to get in our pyproject.toml. We're just going to choose yes, because that's what we want. Uh, if we look there, you can see everything is expected. Uh, a couple of changes I typically make with um, my uh, pyproject.toml. Uh, the I will add in uh, the dev group here um, as a optional dependency, so it doesn't get installed all the time. Uh, optional equals true. So I'm going to add that, and then we're going to add a poetry.toml. And virtual EMVs in project equals true. And so this will, uh, sh this will set it so that poetry will create a virtual environment inside of our uh, project structure. Um, and typically, if you're getting something from uh, your, uh, you're getting your repository created from Bitbucket, you should have a uh, git ignore automatically created. Um, but I'm just going to manually create one for now, uh, and I'll add in a couple of the normal things to ignore dot env dot env um, dot I test cache, I believe is the one. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Um, so this is really the base structure that we need. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, my my AWS uh, module folder. So that's where my code will be. Um, create a dunder init so that I can import it. And then I'm going to create a oh, not file. Let's create a folder. Tests. And out there. There we go. So this is our base structure. And if I go ahead and run a poetry install, uh, you'll see that it's going to go ahead and it's going to create the virtual environment um, and then install all my dependencies. And I will be ready to go in creating my code. So I'll just give this a second. And there we go. So you can see it created a couple of different files. Uh, we have poetry lock, um, which is going to have all of the version constraints uh, for our project. Um, and then we also have our virtual environment here, which uh, will contain all of our um, Python dependencies. All right. I will see you in the next video.